Gmail doesn't let you send attachments larger than 25 megabytes. To get around this, we recommend storing files in Dropbox and sharing a link to the file. I'll show you how to do this on a computer and on an iPad. We'll also take a look at what the recipient will see. If you haven't used Dropbox at Brown, sign up instructions are available at brown.edu slash go slash Dropbox help. First, we want to put the file into Dropbox. The easiest way to do this is by installing the Dropbox application on your computer. This makes Dropbox act like any other folder on your computer. You can simply drag files into the folder to add them to Dropbox. After you've added a file, right click on it and choose Copy Dropbox Link. You can paste this link into an email in order to share the file. Let's take a look at what the recipient will see. When they click your link, they'll be able to preview the file, whether it's a video, PDF, Word document, or other common file type. They can also download it to their computer. Last, let's take a look at how to share a Dropbox link on an iPad or other mobile device. In the Dropbox app, click the small down arrow next to the file and choose Share. Then click Share link on the bottom right of the form. You might be tempted to enter email addresses into this form. You don't want to do this, though, unless you know your recipient uses Dropbox, because they'll be asked to set up an account. Sharing the link, as I showed you, is much easier for them. After you click Share link, you'll be asked to choose the app in which you'd like to share the link, for example, the Gmail app. A new email will be created with a link already populated, and you can add recipients, a subject line, and more information about your file.